Today I'm coming to you guys with my monthly nail fee video. <laughs> so today, uh, well this month, my nails again are very simple, but myself and my, um, my nail tech, her name is Courtney, and her name is Queen of All Trades on social media, and she's amazing. <laughs> so if you live in the DMV area in Maryland, definitely come check her out. Um, this video is not all about being superficial and, oh my god, I got my nails done. No, um, that is not the intent of this video. It's a much bigger purpose. The purpose is Courtney is a black nail tech. It's not very often that you find black nail techs because the Asians basically have taken over that um, that field. Um, but there are black nail techs out there and I'm using my platform to encourage you, yes you, whoever is looking at this video, I'm not just encouraging you to come check out my girl Courtney. I'm trying to also get it to you guys that you should be supporting your black nail techs. They are definitely out there. You just have to find them. It's very easy to find them, especially now with social media if you you know make up a hashtag if you search if you live in Charlotte you can put Charlotte nail text just look that up and you can figure out if homegirl is black or white because all of their little cute nail pictures like this will have black hands on them you know um so yeah so definitely um support your black nail text that is the point of this video it's not just to show off my nails um, and say I got my nails done um, but yeah it's definitely a bigger purpose kind of like my shop black series so um so yeah I know that there are some people out there who still go to Asian salons or white salons whatever um, and it's okay that you do that because I mean it's okay because it's not always you know easy to find black nail techs and also I've noticed with black nail techs um, they are very they're booked like seriously it's it's rare that you find a nail salon where you know 10 black women come together and open up a business so you can get in and out you can get an appointment whatever you want it's rare that you see that i mean you may see that in like the city like in new york or something but where i'm from <laughs> no um courtney is the only one she's literally the only black nail tech where i live so she is booked like booked so usually i get my nails done once a month or i may go and get a different design here and there um, but it's very hard to get in with her and it's kind of bittersweet um, So yeah, so definitely um, just understand that if you are with if you're going to a black nail salon to me They do a better job like seriously when I when I go see Courtney We are together for at least two hours or more because she takes her time with my nails um, So yeah, anyway Bottom line is support your black nail tech. Secondly, I do want to talk to you about what we did um the last time, you know, since I've been going to court, they were basically my nails, but with acrylic on top of it. And the work that they had did was not up to par. So Courtney, at first, she was filling in my nails every time I saw her. But the last time I went, she was like, you know what? Next time you come in, we're soaking it all off and starting it over. Um, but I ended up taking them off myself and my nails were short, like super short down to the fingertips short. And so what she did is she... She, first of all, she used gel. Um, this is another tip for you guys. If you go to a salon and they try to upcharge you for gel polish, I mean for gel, um, for the gel overlay, and if they are dipping it in that liquid substance and then into a powder and saying that's gel, they're lying. It's not gel. They shouldn't be upcharging you. That is not true gel. Gel is already pre-mixed. It's like molasses, but it's clear. So it's a very thick consistency, and that is true gel, and that is an upcharge. So don't let them fool you if they're just dipping something into powder just like the acrylic. Uh-uh. You shouldn't be paying extra, and it's not gel. So don't even waste your time. You might as well just get the acry acrylic if, you, if they're going to do that. Um, it's just a different color acrylic. It's still acrylic, okay? And Courtney taught me that. 
thanks Courtney um, but yeah so she used true gel from a company I think it's called CND um, so yeah she first did an overlay on my real nails and then she did an extension using some like little <laughs> I don't know some little sticker board she wrapped around my finger and then she extended my nails and since I didn't go crazy with my designs, like she usually puts jewels and all that in designs. Since we didn't do that, we did go crazy with the length. They are so long, you guys, and I like it. Um, so yeah, we went really long. And the shape that we went for is the coffin nails. You guys know I used to be into my stiletto nails, and I still, I still like them. Like I miss them a little bit. But coffin nails are in right now, so that's what we did. And the color that we used, it's called... Thanks, a Win Million by OPI, and it's also a gel color. So yeah, um, Courtney's very big on quality products, and she does an amazing job. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are inspired at least by maybe the length, the shape, the color. Definitely support your black nail techs, um, even if you can't support them by go into their salon just spread the word and you know spread the word encourage your friends to see black nail techs in their city and definitely go find them on social media and follow them and support them that way you, know, you don't always have to support with money you can support by just I mean seriously like in these days social media is very powerful so those numbers help these nail techs whether they are trying to get sponsors to have you know get nail products from certain companies all that good stuff we can support them by just liking their page liking their pictures so definitely remember that so definitely you know follow these pages and support them how you can um but anyway again it's not all about nails it's about supporting our black businesses so thank you guys so much for watching goodbye girls Mwah.